there's nothing like it. We're like eagles on the open highway. Good morning, everyone. It is uh, 25 degrees. It is March 11th, 2022, and we are here in Seligman, Arizona. We've had a really good time, and we're heading out. I mean, uh, the 25 degrees is not fun. I mean, at least there's no rain or snow, which we've had happen, but <laughs> it's still kind of cool, colder because it's so clear. But well, anyway, we got a busy day today. Yeah, we had a great day yesterday. Um, you guys need to come check this out. Angels, uh, the Copper Cart, Westside Lilo's, Roadkill Cafe, lots of great history here. And uh, we're going to head to Hackberry this morning uh, and then work our way into Kingman. We don't have a lot of miles to travel, only like 70, 80 miles, but that's we got okay. a lot of filming to do still. That, that's, I'll take the 70, 80 miles uh, in this weather because we won't be freezing all day, so. You know, well, we're going to go meet some great folks in uh, these towns. Yeah, we'll go see Amy at Hackberry, the store there. We'll probably jump down into town. We've never actually been down in there. Right. There's a really old schoolhouse. It's like 100 years old. It was the last two-room schoolhouse in Arizona. It's now shut down, but we're going to go explore that, get some history, and then work our way to Kingman. So more history, more fun straight ahead. Hey, with that, we will see you down the road. It's uh, a balmy 25 degrees. We just left Seligman. Uh, we've hit some patches of 40 degrees. For some reason, Lance's uh, GoPro isn't going to be working on this stretch. Maybe it's the cold, we don't know. Uh, but we are entering Peach Springs here. Uh, this is on the Hualapai Indian Reservation. There's a motel here, a gas station. Not a lot to see, but a cool little town to run through. Uh, and hey, if you're ever making your way west, get off at Ash Fork and take uh, Route 66 all the way into Kingman or Oatman. You'll love that ride. And, and if you're coming the other way, obviously get off at, at Oatman or Kingman and you work your way up towards the Grand Canyon Caverns. Uh, you'll see some really cool stuff on this road, Giganticus Hedicus and uh, other things like that. But uh, hey, look, we're going to head to Hackberry. Uh, check out Amy and, and see what the story is there with that store. It's an old uh, school filling station. So with that, we'll see you over there. been here many times this is Hackberry the general store we have a good time here it's a must stop um, we've been here when there's tour buses lined up and people going in there in droves and we hope that happens again well we're kind of off season as well um, their seasons usually May to like call it October um, but yeah you know this place can really get packed up here the girls have actually bought stuff in the yeah. store here yes we did a little piece over here with them um, but Hackberry's kind of got a little bit of a cool history to it, it was you know founded in 1874 um, Hackberry the name Hackberry actually there's a Hackberry tree down by one of the springs and so they called the town Hackberry I don't know what that tree looks like we're gonna have to go check it out 
but also this was formed around a mining operation. Right, and they Eight, usually are. Yeah, 1875 Jim Music and some people were trying to get the, the mine set up. Um, but it went from boom to bust, and as with everything with Route 66, when I-40 came in, these little towns, the gas stations just, they dried up. Now Hackberry, where it sits, there's a mountain range in front of it, and I-40 is definitely really far away from this part of the Route 66. Right, but we just came through, you know, Peach Springs, Truxton, Valentine, and yes. you see these little towns, and you've got these old dilapidated gas stations that were out there. And at one time, that's where people were getting gas and no longer. Yeah, so you get off the I-40 over here, uh, and this section goes from basically the Hackberry to Seligman, and you can get back on the I-40, but this is definitely a good place to come in and see some of the history and, and things that are here. Yeah, well, we've got uh, Amy who owns the store here. She's been an employee here and ended up buying the store uh, in 2016. But we should go in and talk with her and, and get some uh, really good intel from her. Yeah, and right across the street is the actual town of Valentine, right. which we'll go uh, cruise through Berry. there. Not Valentine. Ah, Jackberry, yes. <laughs> it's early and cold, and it's warming up, though. I feel good. Right, right I've got seven layers on yeah. and uh, perfect for 30-degree weather. Right, so hey, with that, we'll get in the store, and we'll uh, talk to you in a little bit. My name is Amy Franklin. This is the Hackberry General Store. I moved here in 1998 and met John and Carrie Pritchard, who were the previous owners to me. They brought their entire lifetime collection here to the store, and I'm just maintaining it now. I started working for them in 2006 and grew to love the store and the people that come here from all over the world. I bought the store from them in 2016 and have tried to continue the tradition of the old school look, the 50s and 60s charm, and Americana that so many of the visitors love. I offer lots of souvenirs from t-shirts, of course, keychains, blankets, magnets, tin signs are one of our big sellers, that category. The used license plates are very popular. Uh, they're all authentic, but they're all expired, so people can take them home and, and actually display them in the man cave. I offer postcards and name keychains, a little bit of everything. You'll find something here to go home with. Since I came here in 1998, I've seen things really explode on Route 66 at this particular location, and I've heard from neighbors as well. John and Carrie were instrumental in attracting people with the charm that they created, setting the store up the way they did with the exterior, the old cars, the gas pumps, all the cool Route 66 memorabilia. Every year got better and better business-wise. The number of countries represented with the visitors has gone from, oh, you know, some Germans and Italians and French and a smattering of Americans, some Canadians, to an explosion in visitors from South America, Uruguay, Brazil, Argentina. In the past, I'd say six, seven years, they've just been coming in droves, as well as the other countries exploding even more. In the spring of 2020, when we got shut down for air travel, the business just folded up. Uh, I was only closed for six weeks. I had to open because if I didn't, I'd go out of business. So business dropped about 90%. I'm a little bit up from that in the past year, 2021. And I'm just waiting for my foreign visitors to plan their trips and get on an airplane and come see me. 66 was designated in 1926 as a highway. Hackberry had already been a going town. In fact, right across the street, there were about 400 and some, give or take, residents uh, during the mining times of the uh, silver mines in Hackberry's Peacock Mountains, which are just to the south here. So in the 1800s through 20s and 30s, silver mining was very prevalent. When that dried up, the town kind of evaporated a little bit. There's only about maybe 50 people directly across the street in Hackberry. Hackberry stretches probably about 20 miles by eight or 10. And there's maybe 700 people living in Hackberry proper. The highway was kind of bypassed, as everybody knows from the Cars movie. 1980, 79, 80, the interstate was completed between Seligman and Kingman 
and 66 was bypassed, and I'm part of that section. So the historic value of 66 started to be regenerated with the forming of the Route 66 Historical Association in Arizona. Since then, it's been promoted as a historical site, historical route, and the stores along it have been working together to continue to promote the historic value of 66, the piece of Americana that it represents, and what we have to offer here. It might not seem much to Americans because we're so familiar with it, but foreigners really dig it, so. Boy, yeah, Charlie's our newest addition. He, he came to us about seven years ago and he just showed up one day looking pretty healthy. He came here and didn't leave. And we just started watering and feeding him and now he's, he's a little store manager. He's, I tell people he's the boss, so. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for stopping. Come back and see us again. For sure. All right, another great time in Hackberry, huh? What a great story. So let's, uh, we gotta get over to the Kingman Chamber of Commerce. Let's yeah. get moving. Let's do it. We just left Hackberry. We had a great little time there, and we're pulling up to a giant Hedicus, uh, Pierce Ferry Road, Grand Canyon West. And yes, it is. There's the big green head right there. You come across some funny things on Route 66 as well, and newer things. I mean, we're making the sweeping turn. We're now on the approach to head into Kingman, but what do we find? Your giant head. <laughs> no, this is Giganticus Hedicus. Yes, Giganticus Gi Giganticus Hedicus. Yeah, something. Uh, anyway, it's a newer um, piece of art on the route. Uh, it was commissioned in 2004 by Greg Arnold. 14 feet tall, chicken wire, mesh, all the stuff, piece of art. <laughs> and now you kind of look around here, you've got a bunch of different art and sculptures out here that are actually pretty cool. Route 66, the queen it looks like back there with the flag. Yeah. So kind of a cool stop. If you go inside, they've got food, a little coffee, soup, hot dogs, good place to stop if you're hungry, if you can't make it to Hackberry. Right, and one thing you don't lack out here is there's always gonna be a train coming by, and there's another train coming by, and you know what, we're gonna get into King. It's been great so far. Well, well, lots of trains. Yeah, but we've, we've been having a good time. We've, we've been heard the a lot train of cool people, people aren't around anymore. Yes, the ones that would get off in these towns yeah, and hang out. That's a bummer, but yeah. hey, commerce has to happen. We're going right now to the Chamber of Commerce, Tri-City Chamber, we're gonna meet a bunch of people. And check out Kingman. Talk about two-lane life with them. There you go. Hey, we'll see you down the road.